All right, so what we're doing to use is this tool. We're gonna try not to make any high spots, right? Go through the wire harness. And for you as a, as a rookie, you wanna to come to the top just to see where tip's at. If you don't know yet, you come up higher and you can see the tip, the tip, the point right there, okay? Walk it in, but don't commit. You're just looking for where your tip's at. You don't need to push hard. But once you get to the center, watch the center, watch everything collapse, right? And I'm gonna keep it more, I'm gonna tilt my, on my, my tool too as well to make sure it's balanced. I push, let go. Push, you see how it looks nice and clean all the way around? What I meant to say is that it's symmetrical. Make sure you keep it symmetrical as you push. So if you see these lines, squeeze one side or the other that's telling you that's where your tip is you want it to be balanced as you push so when you push you have a nice hourglass looking shape if you don't again you're going to have a lopsided push meaning it'll be more high on one side but still fat on the other that means you're not centered okay but i'm gonna set it look at now it's getting less owl's eyes right Push. You're right on the center. Pretty almost. But this tip is still pretty sharp, so you just want to go a little bit above or a little bit low. I'm always looking for the next fattest spot in the dent. Okay? So but you're I'm, not always pushing on the same spot. Not always, nope. And I'm it's kinda of like dough, right? You're like you, you when you squeeze it, it squeezes out somewhere else. So I have to control how where it's keep it in, in the in in control, right? I don't want it. I don't want a high spot on the corner or in the bottom. So I'm looking for the nice little low spots in that area, right? You can see me. I'm a little bit above, letting go a little bit harder, but letting go, but not setting it high. So the object of this game is to pay attention to your muscle memory, how much pressure you're putting in here, and then let go. Okay, does that make sense? And then this, if now I'm going still kind of fast, but if you control yourself and slow down, and I have tape on here, which makes a big difference because I'm softening the push. It's not as aggressive. If this was a sharp center pit, what I would do is probably take the tape off about now and start pushing in the center so I can bring it up, right? I don't want to break a volcano, but we're not that that level yet. We're are at that dent yet. We're at a soft dent. I call it just a typical dorting. Maybe a kid threw a ball, a hard ball on here. Maybe someone lightly dented it, you know, with a door, but it's not, it wasn't a corner or a hard corner. And then this is what I'm doing. I'm just, and the center's a little bit, a little bit tougher. Okay. So there are a lot of different variations factors, small details that make the big difference in paintless dent repair. One of the big differences, and that's a small detail, is comparing your reflection. Well, the lines, the lines on the outside to the right, and the lines on the left side to the left. Up and down, just making sure that, hey, where am I at when I'm pushing? Is it even? Does it look like those lines over there? Or does it not? As you can tell, we still have a little bit of fat spots here. When the lines are skinny, it means it's high, which we're not showing right now because we're trying to do a perfect push without making a high. That is the goal. I'm teaching my student to be very, very patient. But the name of the game is keep it clean. And then I'm just dialing it in, dude. All right? But you see, there's no high spots. Okay? Just be careful at the end because that's where you make the mistakes. Because really the, the dent is almost like makes you doubt that you're actually in the right spot and towards the end, okay? And then, and then adjust your board as needed. So let's make it, let's make it go back further a little bit, all right? Let's see if we, and always look at your dent as you move the board. I'm telling you, it takes a major, major amount of patience. You have to stay eye level. Be careful not to make mistakes. When I do pushing, 
I think about my first five pushes are the most crucial, crucial start of how you do a dent. The slower you go, I am telling you, the better and faster you'll go. Don't think about how long it's taking you. Be in the moment and really understand the reflection. Reflection is going to tell you a lot of feedback when you're looking at this. Now, here's a tech tip. You could actually go and use a sharper tool at this point right here because all you're doing is just really pinpointing the last 80 bit. I do have to say, I've said this before, you spend 90% of your time on the last 10% of the repair. Typical pushy without making a high spot. That's your goal, okay, every single time. Hey folks, if you found this tutorial very helpful, please do me a favor, subscribe, like, share, do what you gotta do. Hey, and also, if you want to learn PDR on your own, you wanna do it strictly at your pace online, check out denttrainer.com. Hey, thanks for watching. My name is Mike Toledo, and I'll see you guys on the next one.